How's it guys? I'm Douglas from GS Bike Traders. Today we're bringing you the F800 GS Adventure. Um, particularly nice bike we have at a 2017 it is a fly-by-wire throttle it's a fuel injection motor uh, double overhead cam Rotex with a six-speed gearbox uh, fly-by-wire means that there is no more cables it's all electronic um, this bike here is a 62 kilowatt uh, it's got 83 newton meters of torque at 7500 rpm um, we've got a nice big tank on it over here which is a 24 liters, um, a little bit extra compared to your standard F800 GS, which is a 16 liter tank. Um, it also has a four liter reserve, um, so you could guess plus minus about 60 Ks to a reserve um, on your reserve light. We're gonna go to the front of the bike here, we're gonna have a look at a bit of the extras, and we are gonna go through it so you can get a bit more of understanding. All right, on the GS Adventure models, we have the taller screen, which is also supported by a support bar at the back uh, nice and reinforced as you can see it doesn't move uh, we're going to go down to this bike is fitted with a headlight protector with an orange lens uh, to be more visible to the, the cars around you uh, gives a nice orange throw to the road um, then we're going to work down this is extended crash bars by Rumbux they are nice and high and protects your side panels um, then we go down to your LED spotlights. This bike is stand, standard, uh, has standard fitted LED spotlights, which is your broad vision spotlights with peripheral vision. Um, this bike is also extra fitted to the spotlights, as in the spotlight uh, shields, so they don't stop any stones from breaking the lenses. Right, let's go down to the, the, the front wheel here. This is a 21 inch front wheel. wheel. It's a tube tire with spokes. This is particularly nice for sand and off-road. Um, you've got your TKC 80 on the front here, which is nice and new. Nice and aggressive type off-road tire, but also can be used for road purposes. Right, let's go to the side of the bike over here, so you guys can see. I'm going to go down. We've got your standard lower crash bars, which are, protects your engine and your engine casing, as well as some of your shift lever. You have got a wider bigger bash plate which covers your heat exchanger which sits behind you which is very vulnerable to off-road to stones and to debris we're going to go to your standard fitted wider serrated foot pegs they're nice and serrated so your feet don't slip off with your nice rubberized gear shifter which doesn't create damage to your boots or to your shoes this bike is also fitted with a side stand foot which is nice for off-road when you want to put your bike side stand out in the grass so it doesn't sink over and fall over. It just gives your bike a bit of extra support. It is also fitted with the, with the main stand as a standard item. We have got your, your pannier rails. This bike comes out standard with pannier rails as being a venture model. These are for your pannier boxes which you can purchase uh, separately. Um, unfortunately this bike does not come with the, the panniers with the bike. The top box can also be fitted to here. You get a brackage system where you can fit a top box and your two aluminium side boxes, which gives you a lot of packing space for when you want to go away. This is also fitted with a tool tube. You can put extra tools in here. Um, yeah, any of your extra tools, spares, um, or anything that you want to hide in there. <laughs> okay, so this is obviously your standard exhaust system. We have your standard exhaust system on here, which has got your catalytic converter for your EU4 emissions control. Um, this just helps the emissions of the, um, of the bike and also your fuel consumption. It's fitted, fitted with a wider seat compared to your standard seats. So it's a bit more comfortable for the longer off-road and comfortable for your partner or your pillion. We're going to go through to the front of the bike now, so you guys can have a look. This bike is fitted with two finger levers. For off-road, it's got a nice edge on it here, so your fingers don't slip off. It's also fitted with wind protectors and hand protectors. Um, this is particularly nice when you're doing speeds about 140 or so, and the winter air is a bit cold. It uh, does tend to bite your fingers a bit. It is also fitted with handlebar razors, as you can see in the, in the video. This handlebar razors are nice for when you're standing. It brings the bars a bit higher up for you. 
Um, it's all rider preference. So these are nice and fitted for standing, more comfortable for off-road purposes. As you can see, your nice display is nice and gray in the background. We are going to turn the key on and have a look at it. As you can see, it's a nice display. Very, very, very nicely done by BMW. Um, you have your kilometers over here, which is 10,000 Ks on the clock. Um, over here, you have your rider modes. So let's just change the rider mode here for you. So in road, that's enduro mode, enduro pro, pro. And then we can go through to your rain mode for when you're doing a bit of the rainy weather and you don't want the bike to slide out from underneath you. And then obviously back to your road mode. You also have your engine temperature on this one, so it displays your engine temperatures and your degrees Celsius on the outside. Um, that is your fuel ratings. You can obviously go through all of that type of stuff. But this is basically your F810 Regius Adventure 2017 model. This is what we got on the floor here, Regius Bike Traders. Um, as you can see, all the grips, nice heated grips. Um, you have your mode button over here, your heated grip button over there. And we go to the other side of the control unit. This bike is fitted with electronic suspension control. So you can go through your electronics on your bike to set your um, your preferred rider dampering on your suspension as well as your traction control button here and ABS so when you do off-road you can turn it off um, and you can be safer on the off-road um, your information button your hazard button and you obviously your indicators and your heater button so the bike is also fitted standard with auxiliary power socket which is over here next to the key so you can charge your phone you can charge anything anything through this it's also fitted as an extra with another power socket on this side. This is also another one of those small hella plugs. You can fit your, you can charge your GPS's, anything that you want off of there. What we're going to do is we're just going to walk around the bike so you guys can see what's happening and how the bike looks. There's no scratches and the condition is great. Alright guys, thanks for watching our video, you are the Pages Bike Traders, if you want to um, find out more about this bike, please follow the link that's attached below, as well as our Facebook page, which is GS Bike Traders on Facebook, for more info, please don't hesitate to contact us, thanks guys, bye bye.